Um, my, my esteemed colleagues have told you many of the things that are wrong with this project. A few of the environmental things to think about are why are we going to be moving a new sewer line? That sewer line was just installed. If you move it, it's millions of dollars that we have already paid for, or actually are still paying for, and they're going to say, oh, we're going to move it. And, you know, when you do things like that, you can do them right, but often it's, it, it introduces more leaks into a system. So, so we have to fix this for their benefit, and then it's more likely to break. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, we've been looking at, at the issues of economic development. Um, I want to echo one thing the guy from the taxpayers said. If you fund real infrastructure, it's useful. If you fund phony infrastructure, it's not useful. This is not going to create a single job. You know, those jobs already exist five miles from where we are. So basically, we're stealing from one community to add to the tax burden of another. They should not be getting property tax breaks. If you look at capitalism, if these guys can't do real estate development without subsidy, then it's clear that our entire economic development strategy around real estate development as the way we drive our economic development is just plain wrong. So instead of spending our money on a baseball stadium, actually, their hobby. I mean, none of these people, is this their profession? They're all doing something else, and this is their hobby. And they want to be hip and be on the waterfront. But it's the wrong thing for the taxpayers of Rhode Island. It's the wrong play thing for the environment. Another environmental thing. There's perfectly good buildings that have been refurbished in that area. They're going to tear them down and throw them in the landfill. We who have a landfill that's already practically full. I mean, this is incredibly, incredibly dumb. I want to make one last point. I was a stakeholder when they tried to build the megaport at Quonset. And the people stopped it. it. What we've got here is another example, like 38 Studios, where they're trying to avoid having the public testify in public at hearings in front of official bodies because they don't want the truth to come out. So what we need to do is do like we did at Quonset and get a full public process. Actually, though, all it will take is one day because as soon as they hear from the 80% of the Rhode Islanders who think this is a really dumb idea, they will quit. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.